is the fruit fly Drosophila. As you can see, it is fixed in space by a drop of glue. In tethered flight like this, the animals are attempting to perform turning maneuvers which are accompanied by movements of their abdomen, legs, and even their antennae. The fly is attached to a so-called torque meter, a mechanical measuring device which measures the yaw torque generated by the fly's attempted turning maneuvers. To control the stimulus situation of the fly, it is placed in the center of a cylindrical drum, or arena, which is illuminated from behind. Illumination is provided by light guides, transmitting the light from the light source. Between light source and light guides, we can place color filters to illuminate the arena in different colors. A weak infrared laser provides heat as an aversive stimulus. The entire experiment is fully automated and computer controlled. Now, let's start an experiment. For instance, we can determine that right turning maneuvers will lead to heat on and blue coloration, while left turning maneuvers will lead to green illumination and heat off. Flies learn quickly to avoid the heat and to choose green by attempting to turn left. Even without the aid of the colors, flies can be trained to prefer one turning direction, simply by punishing the other one with heat. No external reference at all is necessary for this pure form of operant learning. But there are still more ways to train flies in this amazing machine. Probably most well known is visual pattern learning. In this situation, the flies' turning attempts are translated into arena rotations via an electric motor. Like this, the fly gets the visual impression of actually turning. Heat is then made contingent on one of the two patterns being in front of the fly. Of course, the color filters can be used in this situation as well, and then the color is changed exactly between two patterns. And here's the real world setup with the torque meter in the center, the light source, the color filters, light guides, and the laser. On the computer screen, you can see the yellow torque trace. The position of the patterns on the arena wall is indicated by the green trace. Moving closer towards the torque meter, we can observe how the fly controls the position of the patterns around it. 